Good morning, everybody. Today is the day. My mom will be here in about 10 minutes to pick me up for this conference in Knoxville. I'm gonna go enjoy my last little bit of time with Hunter before I go, and then I'm gonna have to head down. It's gonna be good. Bye. Good morning. It's day two of the conference. I sound so terrible right now, but it's because I just woke up and I've been dealing with allergies or something. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know, but I always sound the worst when I wake up. It's about 7.45 right now. I have an executive committee meeting to attend in 45 minutes and that's right at the hotel. So I don't have to go to the actual university to attend this one, which is... And then as for the rest of the day, I will probably end up attending some little panels. And then there's a keynote lecture at the end of the day, from like 4.30 to 6 or something. That's my plan for the day. I'm here to attend two panels today, going to the first one right now. Look at that.
Hi, could I do a grande iced chai latte? Could I add a shot of espresso to that as well? Yeah. Thank you. It's been like a week since I got back from Knoxville and I figured since I'm back home, back to normal, I might as well give you kind of an overview of how the trip went, especially since during the whole conference, I was either not feeling well at all or extremely busy or a mix of both. So now I have time to just sit and chat so let's do it. First of all, I hope you're all doing well. I feel like it's been a long time since I've just sat and talked with you. I feel like recently it's just been pack and prep travel, pack and prep travel. It literally has been, but I hope you're all doing well, having a great summer. Anyways, like I said, literally from day one, the morning I left for the trip with my mom, I wasn't feeling so hot. I talked about it in my pack and prep, how I thought I had like a post nasal drip or just something really subtle. And I kind of, I feel like I was trying to downplay it because I really did not want to be sick for this conference, but I definitely went into it feeling that well from day one. The road trip wasn't too bad, but I feel like I progressively got worse throughout the conference, especially since I was just mentally and physically exhausted. I feel like that didn't really help with the pre-existing situation. And also people were telling me that allergies in Knoxville get really, really bad. But yeah, it wasn't anything like too, too serious. It was just like a runny nose, you know, scratchy throat, a lot of drainage going on plugged up nose in the mornings. There were like two days in the trip where I was just sneezing uncontrollably. And honestly, I don't know what it was that I had, but I'm still kind of recovering from it even a week later. Had this been literally like any other work thing I needed to go to, I would have just been like, I am not feeling well. I'm so sorry, I will not be there. But I was fully funded to go to this conference. They gave me a stipend to use towards the conference. And I was not about to just be like, and plus it was my very first conference with this organization that I support part-time. So I really felt like it kind of wasn't a choice, you know? Like I still wanted to go obviously, but I felt like given how I was feeling, I needed to just push through it. So that was fun. I was battling that the whole trip, but way to start with the negative. Honestly, like I just went right into the low light of the trip, but overall the trip was really good. It was a great learning experience for me. I got to learn a lot more about the organization I support, a lot more about the communications, multimedia needs of the members of the organization, which was really insightful. And I feel like a lot of that stuff that I picked up from that organization, I can then take and use for the organization I support full-time. There were also a lot of cool opportunities discussed at the conference, things that could be possible for me in the future, which is always cool to think about. And of course I got to meet everybody and everybody was so nice. It was just, it was a good time. Honestly, the people just made me really comfortable being there. And yeah, I mean, I have a social battery. My social battery runs out pretty quickly nowadays, but I feel like they did a good job of spacing things out and giving me some flexibility in my schedule and just kind of allowing me to enjoy it and experience what I wanted to experience. So overall, very, very happy with the experience. I'm very, very grateful though that I was able to attend with some funding. I was really, really glad to have my mom along with me, not only for like moral support, especially because I was sick. Like I needed, I needed help. I needed to be taken care of. So that was obviously nice. Just having her around is always just nice, but it was also really cool to explore the area with her a little bit. We didn't get to do as much exploring as we would have liked to have because I wasn't feeling so hot. Like the first night you saw, we literally got McDonald's for dinner. Our night consisted of Walgreens and then McDonald's dinner and then that's it. And then watching TV. Like a lot of nights we were just sitting in the hotel watching whatever was on TV. Like we, we watched some of the Michael Jordan documentary, the Last Dance documentary. We were watching Friends a lot. Two of our dinners for two of the days were Chick-fil-A and Panda Express. I just chose not to include that footage because I was like, people do not need to see me doing this. But my favorite was probably the downtown Knoxville area, which I did, of course, vlog and you guys kind of saw a little bit. It was very cutesy and there were just a lot of really nice little places to go and eat and drink and shop. But other than that, there really wasn't a whole 
lot. Like I feel like if you are very social and you wanna go and meet people or you just wanna like catch up with friends, Knoxville is a great place to go and do that because they have very cute little areas to do that. But I felt like once we kind of explored that whole area, we were kind of like, well, what else is there, you know? And I'm not saying that there's not other stuff to do in Knoxville. That's just from our experience from where we were staying that was like the area we explored. As well as like, we went to a Target somewhere off in the distance, the Chick-fil-A and the Pando were like in a whole nother area. Knoxville's just kind of huge. But yeah, I mean, it's not really like the most touristy area. So that's kind of what I expected out of it. But we definitely focused our time in the surrounding area of the University of Tennessee. Such a nice campus. Honestly, like all the buildings we went into were gorgeous. The hotel we stayed at, not to sound ungrateful, because I am very grateful, but the walls were like paper thin. Either that or there were like cracks under the doors that were just gaping holes because we could hear everything going on in the hallway. We could hear everything going on through the door of our like suite mate, our room neighbor, like our conjoining room neighbor. It was ridiculous because people would be out in the hallways late at night and then our neighbor next door would have the TV blaring or he'd be talking on the phone. Literally, I mean, there were mornings where we could hear him using the bathroom. We could hear his pee stream. And that's just like, that should not be happening. That should not be happening. For the amount of money we were paying to stay there, I was like, why can I hear him using the bathroom? And then that freaked me out because I was like, he can probably hear us using the bathroom. I pee with the door open all the time. When it's just me and my mom, like I do not care. I just felt like that was not the most pleasant thing. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot. But literally the first morning we woke up there. So we had just driven there. We had spent that night there, that first night. And then it was day one of the conference. That morning, there are like speakers in each of the rooms. And through the speaker, there was an automated voice saying, a fire has been detected in the building. Please evacuate through the stairwells. I was like, what, what? So I was in my pajamas. Luckily I was in like my nice black, button up like pajama set but i didn't bring any other shoes except for my tennis shoes and a pair of black slip-ons so i was literally wearing slip-ons and pajamas together didn't have my contacts in so i was like oh gosh if i see someone i recognize i'm not going to be able to distinguish them like someone could be staring me dead in the face and i could be staring at them not realizing it but then not realizing i know them and they're going to be like is she okay like you know that whole if you're a contact lens wearer you know what i mean and that ended up being a false alarm so we evacuated on the stairwells. We were standing outside going, what's going on? And then people just started going back inside through the lobby. So we were like, okay. And nobody knew what was going on until somebody literally asked the guy standing in the lobby. And he was like, oh yeah, no, it's fine. And it's like, you could have told us that while we were standing outside. So very bad communication there. It was a false alarm. They had to restart the elevators. We went back up. I got ready for the day conference got started. Other than all of that that I've shared, everything went pretty much according to plan. It couldn't have gone any better except if I weren't sick, if there weren't the fire alarm. That's about it. I think that's about it. Everything was really good. So I'm very, very grateful. I'm grateful to the Lord for helping me to stay composed, to stay keep my stuff together throughout that trip despite the circumstances I was experiencing, keeping my stress under control for me and just making it a good trip and keeping us safe throughout because you just, you never know when you're on the road that long and you know, there are bad areas and I think we may have driven through one, but we're home safe and sound. I'm getting back into the swing of things again. I'm really excited to get back to more chill content. I feel like like I said, I've just been pushing out videos like a machine. But I think I'm gonna close out here so I can start working on some new content for you guys. I just wanted to give you a little trip update and kind of fill you in on the things that were not included. So I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I hope you enjoyed this little update. If you did, stay till the end. Thank you so much for caring and for just chatting with me, just hanging out with me and giving me the chance to fill you in and get a little more personal with you. I hope you are having a wonderful, wonderful week and I will see you very soon in the next one.